Supernatural fans didn't have to wait too long for more content. You would think 15 seasons would have been enough, but nope. Jensen revealed that he had plans to tell Sam and Dean's parents' love story in a spinoff. We're not complaining, but we do have questions. Is it possible that we'll see some similar faces? Could Felicia Day be coming back? Let's find out. First up, could Felicia be making a comeback in the Winchesters? Technically, she shouldn't be able to. For one, the show's set in the past. The Winchesters will focus on telling the tales that occurred years before either of the brothers were born. So looking at it in that way, Felicia's clearly younger character Charlie wouldn't exist in the 1970s. So why are we thinking about her return? Well, for one thing, this is Supernatural we're talking about. The show regularly killed characters who miraculously returned. Why shouldn't we hope to see Felicia return to her fan-favorite role? For one thing, Dean's returning. Jensen announced that he would be narrating the series, and therefore would play a huge role in the series. But he's not slated to make an actual appearance, though. But despite these technicalities, we hope to see our favorites make a comeback. Screen Rant was able to get in touch with Felicia Day and questioned her about her possible return as Charlie Bradbury to the spinoff. Turns out she's as interested in coming back as we are to see her again. She explained that she would jump at any chance to return to play the character again. Felicia hasn't worked on any projects since Supernatural. Plus, the lockdowns during the pandemic didn't make things any easier. In fact, her biggest regret was being unable to travel to the set to appear in Supernatural's finale. She was all set to film a few scenes and make a final appearance, but that didn't work out. We would have loved to see her one last time too. Felicia's time playing Charlie was a wonderful experience for her, so much so that she's become super careful when it comes to choosing new projects. She wants the next role to be as powerful, and we're glad to see she's being picky. We don't need to despair yet. Now that we know Felicia's open to the idea, everything's great. So long as the Winchesters continue to air, there's always hope. Now, how would her appearance even be possible? As we explained earlier, the show's set in the past. If Felicia was to appear in the series as Charlie, the only way it would be possible was if they included time travel, seeing that she's born in 1985 and the show is set in the 70s. But there's another way. When speaking to Screen Rant, Felicia was open to the idea that she wouldn't mind appearing as a relative of Charlie's. It's not entirely impossible. In fact, there are a lot of families where the children closely resemble their parents or their aunts and uncles. It's quite uncommon for actors to play younger versions of their parents. Most recently, it was accomplished in Riverdale. In it, the teenagers portrayed younger versions of their parents. So nothing's stopping Day from doing the same. John and Mary Winchester are being played by younger counterparts. Dean's grandfather is being portrayed by a younger actor too, namely Tom Welling. It's completely doable for Charlie's family too. The Winchesters are exploring the story over a long period. Mary is only a 19-year-old in the series. If the first season's a success, it may run for a number of seasons before the mother is killed by the yellow-eyed demon. One way the spinoff could excite Supernatural fans is by bringing back some fan favorites. It's not shocking for creators to honor the original series in this way. So why not do it here, too? What's more, she's not the only one who could make a return to the show. There are many topics the Winchesters can and will be able to cover, given the vast time span it is playing with, especially if the show airs on the CW for several seasons. It wouldn't be strange if the creative team staged a supernatural reunion of some sort, which could be a fun way to remember the original series, given that the Winchester showrunner is already tied to Day. The stories Thompson has in mind for Day in the Winchester season one or later will determine whether she appears in numerous episodes or just one guest appearance. Hopefully Day will hear from Supernatural to come back and contribute in some way to the Winchesters. For the Winchesters, only one Supernatural actor has been confirmed thus far. In a quest to discover his family history, Dean Winchester, Jensen Ackles, will make a comeback to tell the tale of his parents. John Winchester, Drake Roger, and Mary Campbell, Meg Donnelly. The Winchesters, which takes place in the 1970s, follows John and Mary as they try to learn more about their parents' enigmatic past, which appear to run in the Winchester family. Along the way, Latika, Nita Horsheed, and Carlos, Jojo Flatus, two other hunters, team up with John and Mary to help them in their quest for the truth. 
there are no restrictions on the characters who could return for the Winchesters, as the prequel has already retold a portion of supernatural history. The original series was already skilled at reimagining old favorites, and the change in timeline allows the show some creative leeway in terms of who might be involved. Ackles affirmed this artistic freedom in an interview with TV Line, saying, "...nothing is off the table in this realm, which is wonderful. We have methods for resurrecting beloved roles, and the people who played them. Coming up, are the Winchesters planning to Scooby-Doo things up? The Winchesters are meant to depict John and Mary's love story. There were two things clear in the original series. John lacked a lot of fatherly qualities, but he did love Mary, and her death affected him a lot. To show how the two hunted monsters together, the Winchesters have taken a different approach than Supernatural. While the original series was much darker and a bit on the serious side, some episodes were hilarious, though. We haven't forgotten. The show's very inspired by the Scooby-Doo gang. Let us explain. So we have John Winchester, who's the Fred of the group. Tall, good-looking, and quick to come to action. We then have Mary, who's Daphne, mainly because she's John's love interest. Lada, played by Nita Horsheed, is none other than the Velma of the squad. She's the brains. And we also have the hippie Carlos, played by Jojo Flytis. He completes the group as their shaggy. That's not all. They've even got a custom-painted camper van, aka Scooby-Doo's mystery machine. Now, if they only had a talking dog, the Mystery Incorporated gang would be complete. We're wondering if these similarities weren't on purpose. If you can recall, there was one episode in season 13, where both Dean and Sam appeared in an animated crossover episode with the gang. That episode was so well-received, fans wondered if a spinoff was on the horizon. Coming up, is is a Scooby Natural spinoff still a possibility? The demand for another Scooby Natural episode was definitely there. Fans waited for the announcement, but were instead offered the Winchesters. But it's doubtful that we'll get a full-length feature anytime soon. While we haven't been given a spinoff with the Mystery Gang, the Winchesters are probably as close as we're going to get to one. But we don't want to dash your hopes completely. Just like Dean and Sam paired up with the gang to solve mysteries, the group in the spinoff could do so too. We can already imagine the groups eyeing one another but eventually teaming up to unravel the mystery. Next, did the inspiration help the spinoff? When the Winchesters was first announced, fans didn't know what to expect. Nobody had really asked for John's and Mary's backstory. And before the first episode aired, we expected the show to stick to the Monster of the Week formula that proved to be a surefire way to success. The first episode of the series did what most shows have to, introduce you to the show, the characters, and the place. So when the second episode, Teach Your Children Well, came out, one thing surprised us. The Winchesters have done things differently from its predecessor. While Supernatural focused on the brothers, no matter who else was there, the spinoff focused focuses on each character of the group equally. Each member is equally important. In fact, Carlos gives Mary a reality check when he reminds her to consider everyone's opinion instead of steaming ahead. Then there's the different era. The 70s are very different from the 2000s, and it accentuates the Scooby-Doo vibes. The lack of cell phones, the old-school feel, and the cartoonish aesthetic really make things fun. The show didn't completely veer off what was expected. There are classic elements, such as family members to be questioned, lore to be explored, and monsters to be hunted. Let's not forget the Winchester's motto. As Dean said, saving people, hunting things, the family business. That's a wrap for this video. Which character would you like most to see make an appearance in the Winchesters? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.